Welcome to today's masterclass on managing genealogy projects with IA. That's AI flipped on its head. AI, as we know, stands for artificial intelligence. IA stands for intelligence amplified. I'm delighted to share with you how artificial intelligence is revolutionizing the way we organize and manage our family history research. This is episode four from our AI and Genealogy Revolution series, all available at my YouTube channel. If your genealogy files live in 20 places at once, it's time to bring order to the chaos. We've all been there, scattered notes, forgotten research threads and documents spread across multiple platforms. Today, we'll explore how AI can help you transform this chaos into an organized, efficient workflow. We'll be looking at projects in both Claude Sonnet 4.5 and ChatGPT 5, as well as Spaces in Perplexity Pro. These powerful organizational tools will help you keep your research focused and accessible. Let's identify the problem many of us face now that we are quite proficient in chatting with our AI tools. We often will have scattered chats, forgotten prompts and endless conversations that seem to lead nowhere does this sound familiar? When you're juggling multiple family lines, researching different time periods, or working on various genealogy projects simultaneously, it's very easy to lose track of important details and breakthrough moments in your research. Our projects evolve over months or years. Within your AI tools, the project spaces help to keep context alive, every file, question and answer remembered. Let's start with Claude projects. Think of Claude as your private research partner, a dedicated space where you can organize everything related to a specific genealogy project which you get to name. When you create a project, you'll name it and describe what you're trying to achieve. These days I try to keep the titles rememberable for me and based on the month in which I'm doing the research. For example, you might create a project called the Warren Family Research for October where you're investigating your ancestors from, let's say Chelsea to Sheffield in England. And this will become your central hub for all related conversations, files, and custom instructions related to that family research. Claude Projects acts like an intelligent research journal. You can upload documents, ask questions, and build context over time. Now here's what a Claude project looks like in action. At the top, you'll see your project name. In this example, September, Keeping Up With AI, has useful documentation to assist genealogists and family historians. And that has been built into the instructions for that project. This is a key feature with your project, the instructions section. And you'll see that at the bottom. Here you can add custom instructions that apply to every conversation within this project. For genealogy work, you might include instructions like think step by step and follow instructions from the user or be professional, ethical and responsible with inputs. 
Notice the integration options as well. At the moment, they're looking like just little icons at the bottom of that instruction panel. These options include connecting to web search, conversation search, recent chats, Claude code, and even Google Drive. This means all your research tools are accessible within one project space. Moving on now to look at ChatGPT. Projects in ChatGPT offer a similar feature and functionality. They look a little different on screen. When you're creating a project, you'll see a preset list of categories like investing, homework, writing and health, but you can customize this for genealogy research. The key message here is that projects keep your chats, files and custom instructions in one place, and you can use them for ongoing work or simply to keep things tidy. This is particularly valuable when you're managing multiple family lines or different research objectives. Claude projects act like your intelligent research journal. You can, sorry, ChatGPT projects can act like your intelligent research journal. You can upload documents, ask questions and build context over time. Here's the ChatGPT project interface. At the top, you'll see your project name. This one is called October Projects, Genealogy Research Plans. And below it, you'll see the conversation panel where you type in your prompt. Notice the drop down menu that I've included here on the slide showing different prompts that you might have saved. And these are the names of the conversation that live inside the project. So in this little drop down list, I've got half a dozen or so chats, each with their own little title. And you can change that title if you need more clarity. On the right hand side, you'll see the save as PDF option. And this enables you to save the finished conversation as a PDF with various options for formatting, such as an A4 portrait, A4 landscape, or letter formats, and even single page options. This makes it really easy to export your research findings and share them with family members or, con or collaborators. Moving on, Perplexity takes a slightly different approach with their Spaces feature. A space is your private research environment where you can gather resources, sources, add context and conduct focused searches. You'll create a new space, add a description of what it's for and how to use it, and then you can add your files, links and custom instructions. This is particularly powerful for genealogy because perplexity excels at searching and synthesizing information from multiple sources. Perplexity pro spaces act like an intelligent research journal. Let's look at what you can do within a perplexity space. This example shows the space name of October, keeping up with AI, with searching capabilities using custom instructions. The sources section is particularly valuable. You can add local files and links. Notice the uploaded file here AI Genealogy Revolution Style Guide. And this was a PDF that was created on October 19th. 
On the right hand side you'll see numerous export options for the results from your perplexity conversations. You can export as a PDF, you can export as a markdown or a document. And along with these options, you can create tasks, swap spaces, remove content and more. This flexibility makes it easy to integrate perplexity research into your existing genealogy workflow. Let's bring all this together. Artificial intelligence or intelligence amplified. It's not only transforming your genealogy projects, but also shaping our future research in unprecedented ways. While AI tools continue to bring numerous benefits, managing our AI workflow with specialized projects and features remains critical. Whether you choose Claude Sonnet projects, Chat GPT projects, or Perplexity Spaces, or, as I do, use all three for different purposes, the key is to bring structure to your research process. By organizing your work into dedicated projects or spaces, you ensure that your valuable research doesn't get lost in endless chat histories. And you create a sustainable, efficient workflow that grows with your family history discoveries. Thank you so much for joining me today. Our next episode in the AI in Genealogy Revolution series will cover generating images, and I'm going to focus on how to do that with Gemini, the Google product, Gemini 2.5. This is an exciting topic that will help you visualize your family history in new and creative ways. Remember the tools we've discussed today are here to serve you as your genealogy assistants. Start small, perhaps with one family line or one specific research question and build from there. Before you know it, you'll have a beautifully organized research system that makes your genealogy work more productive and enjoyable. Happy researching.